Hello, this is Solar PV TV for once again from InterSolar North America 2017 from San Francisco. And now we are in a very interesting discussion devoted to recycling. So actually we are with uh, Jan Klinke, who is managing director of uh, PV Cycle. Uh, the organization which was created over 10 years ago in Europe, but now is also becoming a global organization. And we are also with the, one of the members of the organization, uh, with uh, Sumek and with Alex Levron one of the pioneers of solar industry in the United States. And it's quite interesting discussion today because actually we would like to explore the opportunities for PV cycle and eventual strategy for recycling in the United States. So welcome guys. Hello. Thank you. And also okay. thank you Jan for being partner of Solar PV TV. And also uh, thank you uh, Alex for our awesome, really awesome visionary discussion and also visionary dinner uh, two days ago in uh, Water Bar. So I will start with Jan. So Jan, uh, what brings you here actually to the United States? Well, we, we are already present in the United States. We have uh, PV Psyche USA, which, uh, which exists, um, but it exists now since two years and we are really now to ramp it up, the activities. Um, we discovered what are the loopholes a little bit, what are the difficulties to set up uh, an activity such as PV panel recycling in the US. Uh, it's, it's tougher than in, in Europe, uh, mainly because there is a voluntary approach, so there is no mandatory legislation. Uh, but that's one of the reasons why I'm now back in, in Frisco to, uh, to, to, to really make it happen that uh, we have a service present and uh, we hope to, to launch this uh, early September. And uh, you remember in Europe, you know, there is like around 28 countries in the uh, European Union, uh, still before Brexit, yes. And uh, it was quite complicated, yes, to organize because uh, each country has different legislation, even though there is the European Directive, yes? Uh, that's right, that's correct. Uh, Europe was and, and is uh, constantly a challenge, uh, even if we now would go to a new uh, WE legislation, version number three maybe in the future, then again, it will involve 28 uh, transpositions. So what we now saw the last uh, two, three years in Europe, yes, a long battle to, uh, to transpose this uh, European legislation into national legislation and also per country sometimes additional requirements on top of the, the European uh, requirements. So that makes it uh, much more uh, challenging than we had in place with PV Cycle before the WE legislation tapped in. So before 2014 we had one solution, one fee, uh, it was very simple and this has now uh, yeah, became 28 times a new fee, 28 times a different kind of service or a small changes in the service. So yes, yeah, challenging but we learn a lot and it also helps us now to go global and to also uh, respect and understand the, the business differences and the cultural differences between uh, countries and regions in the world. So I think that you, you notice that it's so important to have the local people who are contributing, yes? That's why it's very interesting that we have here Alex uh, Levran. So Alex, uh, you are one of the pioneers of solar industry. Uh, you were working before in the inventor side, and then you are um, managing the whole solar initiative at ABB. So you have a great overview, not only in the United States, but also in Europe. And uh, how does it look when it comes to the recycling? Uh, is it an important topic for the big groups? Recycling is a very important item because that will protect the environment uh, as we continue to install a very large volume of uh, uh, PV modules in the United States and Americas. I think uh, European markets started with the recycling ideas uh, and Jan, thank you very much for leading this effort, started earlier because as you all know that solar industry was uh, growing much faster uh, in Europe first and now it's expanding to the global arena. So US was following uh, European market with a, uh, f a phase of five years. So I'm not surprised that the legislation and the uh, awareness of uh, recycling in Europe came ahead of the awareness of recycling in the US. But it's a very critical element because as we grow the installed base and US will uh, reach in the next few years 100 gigawatts installed, that will become a very important factor to protect the environment as a second phase of uh, recycling the panels from the field. So yes, it's crucial. And this is why I, I, I'm very happy that the organization, uh, that Jan is leading an organization that is helping to, uh, to find a solution 
bo both from the legislative side, uh, but also from a practical uh, side to resolve this issue, because it's going to be impeding the installation if we don't solve it. But you know, Alex, uh, I was also participating a little in creation of PV cycle. Yeah. And I remember that one of the reasons was not even, you know, to bring the solution in the future, but even to anticipate, yes? Because uh, it's very important that we, uh, like I would say, fight against the arguments against solar that we are not uh, double green, yes? Yeah. That actually uh, will create a lot of weights, yeah? And imagine when we have, you know, like uh, terawatts, yes? It's gonna be a lot of weights. But I know that uh, practically we have like almost 100% recyclable solutions, yes? 100% we are not there yet, um, but compared to any other products which are dealing with uh, extended producer responsibility, we, we have an average of 90% recycling, wow. which is already quite a lot uh, compared to uh, the cars recycling or packaging recycling or uh, electronic waste uh, recycling. So at that point, uh, we, we already have a very high standard and a very high uh, recycling output. Uh, of course, we are working to get it 100% uh, done and 100%. So there is recycling. still a room for the optimization, yes? Yes, uh, at both levels. So we are now really focusing so far on recycling and the final treatment. Uh, but there is still also a huge effort uh, which can be done on, on reuse of PV panels, uh, re repowering, refurbishment. So that's now what we what we are working on, and uh, I hope especially that we can uh, can we launch this effort very soon. And uh, one of the the countries we will kick off with that is also the US. Uh, Alex, so um, uh, Jan was mentioning that at the beginning it was quite an effort in Europe because you know we have a lot of countries, different countries with different legislations. And some people will say, you know, US is just one country, but other people, they say that it's also like 50 different countries. So what would be your advice to Jan, how he should proceed actually in the United States? First step uh, will be to educate the companies that EPCs, uh, manufacturers of modules and, and uh, uh, industry participants, to educate them on the topic of, uh, of uh, recycling, because to be honest with you, this topic is very important, but many, many big players in the market don't really pay attention to this. Not that they don't know it, but they don't pay attention. Because it's so, not like a daily business, yeah? Exactly. And also, it comes after we ship the products, not before. But you are correct. We, we can anticipate the level of installations, and we can anticipate the level of re recycling needed to support the warranty uh, cycle of the, of the product, which is not short. It's very long warranty. The second one is uh, legislative part, and here again in U.S. we have federal le legislation, but in some cases state legislation is even stronger, and and taking longer time to to uh, up, uh, to uh, uh, get the legislation uh, the the, the uh, codes being implemented. So I would say that the three levels of uh, uh, penetration will be determined by federal uh, legislation uh, uh, codes then by state adaptation of the codes, which is not so simple, and each state is to its own in the U.S. And then, of course, the companies that are playing in the market, which participate in the market, they have to be the one that even, uh, you know, not only anticipate, but even promote the idea. And push. And push for it. Okay, so uh, we don't have too much time here, yeah, because, Alex, you need to run for the next meeting. Um, what I think maybe it would be interesting that we organize some PV cycle meeting at SPI. What do you think, Jan? Uh, perfect. I was uh, I already planned to come over for SPI, so uh, for me, uh, welcome and thank you for the offer. Yeah, uh, Alex, will you support this event? Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. so uh, we had an interesting discussion, but also we got first results. The meeting at SPI uh, devoted to recycling. So we will announce soon when the meeting will happen and uh, which is the location and date and just uh, keep in touch yeah so let's make the solar industry double green thank you so much thank thanks you. for thank watching you. thank you